Now question two, um, a few more of these to go then. So the e to the x stays as the e to the x. We'll divide by the number of x's. So I've got a half coming outside there. The sine, sine goes to minus cos. I've already got a minus, so minus minus is plus. The 2x minus 1 will always stay the same. I'll divide by the number of x's as well, so I divide by 2. A half divided by 2 gives a quarter. That's my first one. Um, so I'll we'll do b as well. Um, b, e to the x add 1 all squared. So I think for this one, what I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply out the bracket. So I'm going to get e to the x add 1 times by e to the x add 1. And working that out, e to the x times e to the x is e to the 2x. Then I've got 1 e to the x and another e to the x. So that's 2 e to the x's and plus 1. And now I can integrate that. So e to the 2x stays as e to the 2x. I've got half of it divided by the number of x's. This one here stays exactly the same. And 1 integrates to give x. So there's that one. And we might as well do c as well. So sec squared times by 1 plus sine. So we're going to multiply this one out again, similar to what we did in some of the first exercise of this. So sec squared times 1 is going to give us the sec squared, and we know how to integrate that one. And then this one here, we've got sine 2x. And rather than writing sec, I'm going to write a cos on the bottom uh, twice. And that can help us see that this one here is a tan 2x sec 2x. So again, it's knowing what you're aiming for. Although they're in the formula book, having an idea of what you're aiming for is really helpful. So sec squared, of course, goes to tan 2x dividing by the 2 as well. And tan sec, tan sec goes to sec 2x and dividing by the 2 as well. So there's C.